in a world where there's over a million fucking videos about the content cop, there's one man who decides to be different. No trending topics, original concepts, and hella tapestry. There's only one problem. He's from Tennessee. Uh, howdy! It's your boy Wavy Webster, your favorite t-shirt reviewer and meme historian. Welcome to a commentary on commentators, also known as cock a doodle do Let's get right into it. I find these series of comments very discriminatory. Um, I was born with a speech impediment that's called being raised in the South. I don't think I'm pulling off that same Tennessee charm that Wavy brings to the table. Last week, we talked about a very middle of the road cocking quite. So this week, we're gonna look at one with a bit more character and longevity. Your boy, Wavy Webster. I'm about to jump off this bit. God, dude, are you okay? <sighs> As you can see, there's an obvious difference between Wavy and your standard YouTube commentator. For one, Wavy tells jokes. Actual funny jokes. You hear me, you stiff piece of wood? Logan Paul is really bad at Fortnite. <laughs> yes. Yes! What the fuck? He also doesn't rely on the Pauls or past YouTube drama to make it in commentary. His most popular videos come from his own unique ideas. The dude does it all and at such a ridiculously high level. Merch reviews, podcasts, reflective commentary, comment comebacks, top tens, viral video responses, and fucking documentaries. Anything but your standard YouTube commentary videos, even though a much bigger YouTuber told him that straying away would tank his channel. I've made some YouTube drama related videos here in the past on the channel, but I think I'm gonna just kind of steer away from it. Well, goodbye to your channel, by the way. Right. Uh, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look dumb. So fucking dumb. Tommy, I don't blame you for being wrong. I remember thinking the same thing. How can a commentary channel survive and not talk about trending topics or YouTube drama? I like drama. I don't care about merch or memes. There's some kids singing in Walmart. But I'll be damned if I'm not gonna watch a wavy web surf video the instant that it's uploaded. He's a personality-driven channel that makes evergreen content. I don't care what the video's about, I just want to see more of him. His videos, although they may not be flashy, are so rewatchable. And pair that with an approachable personality in one of the greatest YouTube intros of all time, and you have a damn fine cock. I've noticed that this is taking me way longer to record than normal, and that's because I keep getting distracted by his work. He's consistently done his own thing, and has proven that as long as you believe there's an audience for what you're making, you'll eventually find it, no matter what anyone else thinks. So let's close this out by watching some of his best work. If I say, oh guys, you need to subscribe to Black Creators, like, you're gonna say, well, who? Yeah, and, I and subscribed that's, that's to the, Video Game Donkey, so I mean, I got my I mean, black creator. Yeah. Um, this t-shirt, this drama alert t-shirt, it, it looks pretty good other than the fact that the sleeves are like really small. I, I don't know, maybe Keem was designing this with his own proportions because I don't think this would fit a normal person's arms. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what, what is going on right here, dude? This is the last image you see before you die. Hila, Hila. Hila, are you gonna make fun of a handicapped person? This civilian flashlight puts out a pathetic 27 lumens, but our military-grade tack light pumps out an incredible 600 lumens. I don't know if he could flex his tricep and ass muscles any harder right now. Like, can, do you see this? Allow me to flex my ass and tricep so you can feel insecure about your pathetic Go 27 deeper. lumens. Go they should have put Wang oh, in the rewind right and Willie Mac and Wavy Club, sir. I'm about to jump up. What the fuck am I doing? Ten out of ten.